Fort Paxton Township Police Department has released new video and in information regarding the death of a Dauphin County teenager. Fox 43 Sire Williams joining us now with more on why police and family members believe the student and his peers were playing a game. Sierra. Alyssa, it's been a week since Justin Johnson died in his home from what the Dauphin County Coroner's Office has ruled complications from sickle cell disease. However, the family, the community and several agencies have been asking what led up to his death. Several agencies have partnered with the Lower Paxton Township Police Department, including the Pennsylvania State Police Heritage Affairs Section, to investigate the actions and statements made moments before Justin Johnson died on April 26th. The PSP Heritage Affairs Section prevents, responds to, and investigates hate crimes in Pennsylvania. While giving an update on the investigation on Friday, law enforcement outlined a timeline of events leading up to and after Justin's death. So let's go back to the date that I had mentioned, April 22nd, 2024. And that's when all this begins. Adam Koshiba, director of public safety with the Lower Paxton Township Police Department, says that Justin, along with 22 other students, were playing the game similar to Senior Assassin through the Life360 app. Now, the app allows you to download it to your phone and track the location of family and friends. Now, police tell us that this game was not only played outside of Justin's house, but showed videos of students, along with Justin, playing the game in school. The rules that we know it thus far are that to be tagged it, the tag must be witnessed by three to five people within the game or it must be recorded on video. Messages have been exchanged through the app since April 22nd. Police say four 16-year-old boys were at Justin's house playing the game the night Justin died. Two of the boys were white, one Asian, and another biracial. Although they didn't identify them by name due to their ages, an object that was caught on the surveillance video was identified. One male has this water gun. As you can see, a white and green water gun. The timeline revealed Justin's last communication was through a Snapchat group chat at 842 that said, quote, you were never going to catch me. Justin's dad came home and found Justin collapsed in the kitchen around 955. And police emphasize that their investigation is ongoing and declined to take questions at the end of the press conference. We'll have more details to come on air and online. Alyssa. Yes, Ayara, and of course we know that you spoke with the Johnson family and their attorney earlier this week. Does today's update from police follow the claims that the family has been making? Yeah, Alyssa, the attorney for this family, Nicholas Johnson, said they believe Justin was part of the game Senior Assassin. What police showed today goes with that theory that the teens were playing a game. However, police did not confirm the game to be Senior Assassins. They only confirmed that the app that the students were using, uh, Life 360, is the app that they playthrough. Now, I did reach out to the family attorney to ask for a statement based on today's conference, but I have not heard back. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. Of course, we'll continue to follow that story.